Good morning. This is John Hawkins with BAL, and I'm here on behalf of the RVI Aftermarket Conference that's coming up in August in Atlanta. And uh, this year, we are involving a couple new things in the conference, and uh, one of them is a workshop on Wednesday afternoon. And that workshop is going to take some information that RVIA has uh, produced from a, a, new member, a new consumer survey, new RV owners, and uh, we're going to talk about how to connect to those new consumers as well as our existing uh, RVers out there in the market. And we're going to have with us for the first time some uh, RV lifestyle and social media aficionados, experts, so to speak, uh, Aaron and Lauren Grijalva, make sure I get it right. We uh, had a little education on that before we started the video. And they are uh, the Wonderpreneurs. I love Word Smash and I love the name. And uh, they're with us this morning. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning, John. Good morning. Thanks. Uh, Y'all are out in Montana right now. So uh, thanks for getting up with us. And I know, I know you guys are having a great time out there. Y'all went white, whitewater rafting yesterday, right? Yes, Montana's beautiful. And we had the best time on the river yesterday. Good, good. Well, we appreciate you guys taking your time out today as well as uh, in August in Atlanta. It's right around the corner. So uh, again, the workshop that we're going to have on Wednesday is uh, we're going to, it's going to be kind of unique. We're going to have some round tables that uh, Aaron and Lauren are going to be involved in, as well as some RV dealers that we have invited and uh, Craig from RVTI. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a limited amount of topics so we have time to, to really do some roundtable discussion. And uh, Aaron and Lauren are going to be part of that and kind of give their expertise about how they, uh, as basically full-timers, y'all will you know, travel around the country with your children, and um, how you interact with, you, with uh, other RV uh, owners and consumers, and how you also build your brand and use social media to connect to that. So tell us a little bit about yourself, um, you know, about how you got into it, you know, what the directions, what, what you guys do on a, on a daily basis. Sure. So, I mean, how we got into it, we'd never RV'd before in our lives, but we knew some friends, a lot of friends were RVers. And so uh, we got to a point uh, about three years ago where we just got kind of tired with the busyness of life. You know, we had uh, kids in sports, we had uh, jobs. We had, uh, she worked a lot in evenings as a photographer. We're just being kind of spread really thin and we we're just not seeing each other as often. We really missed that. And so we just had the crazy idea in the uh, HOA pool one day with some neighbors talking about renting out our house and other neighbors that are renting out their house. We're like, you know, we could rent out our house for a year and maybe do something like travel. Um, and then that's when the idea of just doing something different, getting an RV, traveling the country for a year kind of popped into our heads. And so there was a lot to you know manage and actually um, do to get to that point. But within three months of that discussion in the pool, we had sold 90% of our things, found a rented for our house, bought a truck, bought an RV, bought all the bells and whistles, not all the bells and whistles, but you know everything we needed to actually hit the road. And yeah, three months later, we were heading west and we haven't stopped since. And so that was November of what, 20. 18. So we're going coming up on year three in November and we're, we love it. It's, it's something that we don't have an end in sight really. Um, That's good. Yeah. So, so yeah, then you throw the COVID year in there. So it probably even seems a lot longer than just, just three years at this point. Well, let me ask you, when did the brand come in? When did the Wonder Printers, was, was that kind of born at the pool that day or did it come before you bought the RV after you bought the RV? It came before we bought the RV. We start. We knew that the two families that traveled um, in their RVs, they had cute little names on social media. And since I loved Instagram and social media, I loved taking photos. I said, why don't we come up with a cool little name and we'll start an, a social media account. We'll start a website because we knew that our friends and family would want to check out our experiences and our travels. And um, it just started as that. We said, let's just start social media and a website. And it was mainly just to document what we thought was going to be a one-year trip. You know, we said, we're this one-year trip, let's document it. So we'll always remember it. But just a few months in, we realized this cannot be just a one-year trip. You know, I think this is going to be our new lifestyle. And that is what it turned into. But yeah, we started thinking, well, we both are entrepreneurs and, you know, we have um, 
you know, our own businesses and we want to wander. And it took a few conversations to kind of come up with that name, but we kind of put it together and said, why don't we be the wanderpreneurs? And yeah, our social media just focused on documenting, renovating our RV. And um, it, we just started it in the very beginning. And then as we started growing more followers, we realized that people were super intrigued with RV lifestyle and they were following us and asking a ton of questions. And so we realized we're becoming a source of information for people and we're inspiring other people to become RVers too. And so I can't even say how many people have told us we're RVing now because of you. You and your lifestyle inspired us to hit the road and become RVers, whether it's just weekend warriors or full timers. I mean, people tell us that all the time. And I absolutely love hearing that because, you know, we do, we try to be very honest uh, in the ups and downs, but the, the ups and the positives of RV life far outweigh the negatives. And we just, you know, I think people really see that. That's great. So started off kind of as a documentation with your social media. It's 10 o'clock. So it came into the brand and then it moved into commerce. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, you guys are doing this also as kind of a, a fun job, you know, yeah. as, as a revenue producer. So it was, was there a moment that you realized that there was an opportunity with that? Kind of, yeah. So like before we actually hit the road, we were documenting just buying the RV, renovating the RV. We just saw the number of followers just shoot up. Um, so right away, we just saw the interest. And then, um, you know, with Lauren, she is such a good social media person and her photography is fantastic and she's a good storyteller and writer so I think all of those things combined with the interest of our being before we even hit the road before we actually left we just saw that following grow so much we're like okay maybe we should at least be aware of that and start seeing you know what other content our followers do enjoy and then soon after we hit the road I mean you probably know better than I exactly when we got our first influencer deal a company reached out to us just saying hey can you promote this item for us we're like really that's, that's awesome. Yeah, sure. So that's when we started researching, okay, what does this really mean? What is an influencer? Because we are realizing that we have influence over these people that are watching us and we want to be authentic with that, you know? And so I started researching what are influencer deals? What does this look like? And just really um, learning what that means. And we decided we want to be very authentic. We only want to promote brands or items that we enjoy and we believe in. And we started, yeah, things started taking a turn and that kind of became a, a big part of my job, you know, also a content creator and um, influencer, or social media person. And so that's just kind of how that started. And and I learned everything I could about it and we've continued building it. Aaron built our website and, you know, we just continue um, documenting things for inspiration, but also for teaching other people um, and just giving them tips about RV life. Have you noticed that um, consumers are changing at all since, I mean, we have so many new consumers that have come into our market because of the, the COVID camping boom. I mean, we, we, we all know it. We all see it. It's the safest way vacation through the COVID. I mean, obviously now things are kind of getting back to normal cruise ships and whatnot. Have you seen a shift from pre-COVID to post-COVID of the consumers? Do you see uh, much newer uh, RVers in the campground? Can you, can you, can you spot them? Are they the <laughs> ones making the, making the bung head, you know, moves in the campground? Uh, yeah. I mean, you can usually tell weekenders um, from full-timers just more, um, their personalities, you know, for full timers are looking for a community because this is our life. Um, right. Weekenders are there, maybe just enjoy their family and get away. And so maybe they aren't as, as social, uh, which is fine. It's, it's just what they're there for. Um, but yeah, we've seen a huge uh, influx of our viewers after COVID, even from our own uh, actual circle of friends, you know, our friends from back home or from college or even high school, people are reaching out to us like, how do I rent an RV or what would I, I want to rent or buy an RV? What do I do? What do I look for? And so our actual friends are reaching out to us as well, just with all these questions about RVing. So yeah, there's so much interest in, in just getting outside and doing something different. And um, I don't know how big a role we played in that. I think with our immediate group of friends, maybe, but yeah, just the industry in general, I feel like is just appealing to more people. Um, and I think social media is playing a big role in that because people are seeing that lifestyle. Maybe they weren't even aware of it. Like we were vaguely aware of it, even though we had friends, um, are being um and so that's kind of how people are getting introduced to it they're seeing it online they're seeing it in videos they're seeing it on tv now uh, even a little bit 
And so they're just being exposed to it. They're getting interested in it. Then they start researching it. And that's how we're getting more followers. <laughs> well, and, and, you know, and also too, I mean, social media has always, you know, been important, but it became much more important through the COVID because you couldn't see people face to face. So I'm sure that's bled over to the, to the RV industry as well. We used to so, be the new kids. I remember when we first started out, we just wanted to meet as many RVers as we could and learn from them. And like any campground that we would, you know, we, we're just always looking to meet new people, but we had so many questions. And I just remember just wanting to meet other RVers who had been doing it longer than we had, because we knew we had so much to learn. And we do see a lot of new people coming to us in the campgrounds or online. You know, can you explain this to me? Or can, and we love that. We love helping other people. And like you said, we have seen a lot more of that post COVID. And it's exciting for us to see all these new people have an interest in RV. So do you guys set schedule events at campgrounds or is it more, uh, you know, you just kind of roll with it? Um, I mean, I don't know how, how long you stay at one location. Yeah, it's really organic. You know, we have campfires a lot. We have a propane fire pit, so we just turn it on, turn it off when you want to. Uh, taking walks around the campground, um, you just say hello. Like I know uh, yesterday I saw a guy with a to, uh, his shirt said beer and baseball. And I just had to be like, I just had to talk to him for a second. Um, so just quick hellos when you're walking by and you just never know, conversation can start sometimes, uh, invitations to a campfire ha end up happening. Um, so most of it's pretty organic as far as when we hang out, who we hang out with. A lot of times we have friends in the park. Um, and so, you know, we're hanging out with them and then, you know, more people kind of come. So it's, it's not usually scheduled at all. Um, it, it's really organic. And that's kind of the fun part of the lifestyle. People aren't as busy. So they're more willing to just kind of socialize and last minute get togethers whenever, you know, the, the opportunity happens. So along that lines, um, your website, the wonderpreneurs.com, you have several different uh, functions on there, but one of them is a blog, you know, obviously like you were talking about documenting your travels. Um, have, what have you seen? And on the second part of it, if you have any examples, what have you seen have benefited you about growing, connect the ways that you connect through your website or through your social media, um, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or whatever it may be? What do you see work? You know, when did you notice things start working or something that you started to do that you didn't do before really started to pull people in and connect? And then maybe an example of, of a, a specific spot, a, a specific instance. So we do have a shop our stuff page on our website. So all of our favorite items are there for people to see. And I also have on our Instagram, I think our favorite things and people we see people are buying the things that we like. And it's funny, we will meet up with people and they tell us all the time, oh, I got my outdoor rug because I saw that you had that or I, I bought this because you have that. And one instance that really stands out to me, we were, um, we met a couple in a campground and she was so so excited to meet us and uh, she was so sweet and she said I want you to know that I bought a DSLR camera and all your lenses that you have just because I want to be as good a phot photographer as you <laughs> and that's a, those are very expensive items I mean thousands of dollars and she bought everything I had and that that really hit me like wow I guess we really are influencers it's just crazy how people you know are very influenced and people that they look up to or people that they follow online to purchase the things that they purchase and so just every time we hear stories like that it's kind of like wow you know it still kind of blows us away um, but that's why we want to be super authentic and what we promote and what we talk about because we don't want to just promote random items that aren't quality and so we we do have a responsibility I feel like to be very honest and very open about our lifestyle and uh, so people can you know be glad that they bought the things that we have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well that that's amazing because I, I know a little bit about photography and I know equipment is not not expensive so in that instance like you said here's somebody that looked at your shots, looked at your website, what you were posting and said, hey, I want to be like her. So the easiest way to do it is to buy all the same stuff. So that's great. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's an excellent example of what, you know, we're trying to help add with the content that we're providing at the conferences, connecting with consumers and, and looking for examples. And obviously social media has become a, become a huge part of that. So you said earlier that there's no deadline on this. There's no end time on this. 
process. And, you know, and obviously that's changed from a year to this. So do you, do you see yourselves doing exactly what you're doing now? Do you see that changing at all? Do you, I mean, obviously you're excited about it and you're into it, but I mean, where do you really see it? You have, you have young kids. So where do you really see yourselves in a few years? I definitely think we'll always be RVers. I mean, we have just fallen in love with RVing. So we will 100% always own an RV because mm -hmm. we just love it. Um, and right now we currently travel every seven to 10 days. We are on the move a lot. We just wow. still have so much that we want to see and do. So we move pretty quickly and I can see us in the future slowing that down. We actually have plans in the fall to settle down in one spot for four months because our kids miss playing sports and oh. they still have that opportunity. We just have to create that space and stay put for four months, which is going to be an adjustment for us, but it'll be fine. So we're going to stay put, let them play sports and then continue traveling. Um, and I think maybe one day we might be more seasonal, like maybe spend the winters in one spot and maybe the summers in another spot. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think eventually we'll have a home base. You don't really know where that is yet. And so we're in no rush to find one, but you know, just a place where we know every, say every spring we can go there, let the kids play the spring sport, you know, take off for a few months in the summer to do some fun stuff. And um, so yeah, I, I think, um, I think we'll just kind of know, like we'll kind of have a piece where like, we just kind of feel like we need to settle for a while. I think the kids will play a big role in that as they grow, you know, their needs change as well. But I, um, I exactly what Lauren said, I think RVing will always be a part of our life because we just love to travel. We love adventure, we love change. And there's really no easier way for a family to do that than RVing. So um, yeah, yeah. And, and, and a lot of our, our industry surveys show that, you know, people that get in stay in it. You know, and, mm -hmm. that, and that's, that's what we're also trying to achieve. You know, the, the, the lifetime value, the stream of a consumer as they buy multiple units and what that means to us. I mean, obviously the economics play into it. That's why we're here. But this, this kind of information that you, and experiences that you guys provide is what we need, is what, is what helps. And, and leading into the conference, uh, one of the opportunities that our, our supplier members are going to have is to get a chance to, to meet with you guys one-on-one. -on -one if they have the space and the, and the time to do it and to network with you guys and learn a little bit more. So we, you know, obviously the big deal is the workshop on Wednesday, but uh, I'm sure most of our supplier members have seen your name already pop up on the scheduling. And this was kind of to add on to, to kind of give a meet and greet about it. But um, if, uh, if you haven't had a chance to, uh, to, to set an appointment with the Wonderpreneurs, they might be reaching out to you here in the future to, over the next couple of weeks to try to get the, get some time with you one-on-one, -on -one, just like a normal meeting that you would have with one of the distributors. So uh, we hope that you'll take advantage of that to, to meet Aaron and Lauren and learn a little bit more about them. And, and again, network, and there might possibly be some, uh, some relationship opportunities then. So we, again, we're really excited about this. You know, we're, we're sticking our toe out there a little bit in the water, trying to, to do new things as an organization. And, you know, you guys and your experience and your expertise is very valuable to us. And we really appreciate you guys working with us on this. Um, if um, we, at the end of this, uh, we will put up the, their website so you can do a little research on the Wonderpreneurs. And uh, if you need any contact information, please reach out to, to myself or through RBIA and we can pass that on. But again, guys, I uh, just wanted to take a little quick time to, to, to visit this morning. Thank you for for uh, spending a little time with us about it. And again, we'll see you in a couple of weeks and we look forward to it. Yeah, John, we really look forward to the, uh, the event in August. Thanks guys. See you soon. Thanks.